Hi everybody. Our activity for this chilly month of November is to keep us staying warm and active in our bodies. And so we're taking inspiration from nature and looking at how nature moves. And so my friend Krista Gray has put together a beautiful video on how to keep our bodies moving and keeping them warm and doing it by imitating nature. So he's gonna have us doing some exercises where we might be reaching up. Maybe you'd like to do this right now to help prepare for the video. Like leaves on a tree, or rain falling down, or spreading our arms like the wings of a bird and soaring through the air. And then my favorite is he'll have us moving very fluidly like water. Pretending maybe you're like a wave on a beach. And lastly, like the rising and the setting of the sunshine. So I hope you find this helpful in keeping your body warm in these chilly days and wrapping yourselves up in warm sweaters and scarves and good company and keeping your body moving. Hey everyone, my name is Chris and I am a dance and fitness instructor and I'm going to be leading you through an exploration of movement based on our natural surroundings. In other words, we're going to be doing movements characteristic of what we observe in nature. And we know that nature is great for body, mind, and spirit. And so at the end of this, hopefully our body will feel calm, relaxed, happy, and lively. So let's start. Okay, so one of the things that we don't see a lot of when you see more is the sun. The sun is big and it rises. reaches its peak, it's shooting out light, heat, and energy. Sun. Which we need more of. Now, as the sun comes up, it awakens plants. And plants come in all shapes and sizes. They lean. They open, they round, they make different shapes with their leaves. They come in different levels, they lean, they round, and then they extend their branches. which are tall and majestic and long. It's stable roots and trunk. So oftentimes they will move with the wind. And they too come in different shapes and sizes. They extend up and out, sometimes out and long. They're so big they often move. And then we have the rivers, oceans, and water, which has a steady rhythm. Water has a steady rhythm. So you have the waves out, spreading the water on the beach and ground, coming back up. And go out again, spreading the water. Back in and out and in constant motion. And there's a buoyancy with the water, the lakes, just the constant movement. And it's very rhythmic and steady. And the rivers move. The 
ocean waves. And now we have rain, rain, rain coming down. Slow, sometimes it's heavy, fast. Then we have wind, which moves in all different directions. Fast, slow, up, down. And amidst all of that, you have wildlife, all different kinds of birds. And one I often see at Seward Park is a majestic eagle. And you have other smaller animals that are always alert, looking from all different directions being aware of their surroundings. Low, high, moving, witnessing, being very alert. And that all starts all over again each and every day. 